Hi, Pisces. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We're going to take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness, guidance, and possible outcomes for the week. I will also sweeten the pot by pulling some oracle cards for more information. So let's get started. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose is the awareness of the week. Okay, so the awareness of the week is that we have a sense of working on prosperity and abundance within our life. If we are able to put into place some uh, practices, some good common sense, some ideas that can help move that along that we're willing to put in the time and the energy to make happen. Aces are gifts or blessings from the universe where, you know, it's saying, here it is, go forth and do it. This is really the promise of abundance. And not just abundance when it comes to money, but spiritually, good health, good relationships, everything. So if you can think about how you structure your life, how you, um, you know, make your plans, then that's going to help you. Because really the Ace of Pentacles, it's about uh, working your plan, your ideas perhaps, planting those, those ideas and watering them, feeding them, and watching them grow. So whether you're doing that through, you know, volunteering work where you're working on service, being of service to others, or you are saving and investing a little bit of money each week, or you're getting a side hustle to make additional money, you know, takes common sense and some thinking, grounded thinking, to get you to a place of prosperity. And when you're, you know, here's the beautiful mountains and the doorway to prosperity. It's not going to be given to you. You're going to have to earn it. And you do so with how you approach, you know, how you approach your life with, with pragmatic ways to help build security and stability and happiness. So that's one awareness for the week. The other awareness is there's a sense here that something has... Uh, something has caused you to have pain. This is the Ten of Swords. And again, with swords, it's uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We see the Ten Swords in the guy's back, and, you know, that's a lot. And so there's a real signal here that you're either feeling really bad, something has worked out not to your advantage, you've been hurt, you've been disappointed, you have been wounded in some shape or form, whether it's in love, whether it's in business, uh, you've taken it on the chin. And really, it, it can't get much worse than having 10 swords in your back. So if you focus on this illustration, you see the, the water and then you see the horizon in yellow. And that suggests to someone who's having this down and out type of moment that there's hope and you look for the light and tomorrow's a new day and you have a chance to again try to recover and try to get up away from this it may require new thinking it may require something new within your life to allow that to happen so you have a very positive card and then you have this card of angst of pain of of suffering perhaps and again it could be um, it could be negative thoughts that are halting your progress so let's choose two cards for guidance Holy moly, okay. So the guidance is this situation clearly has caused some anxiety, some stress, and sleepless nights. And it certainly could be with respect, there's something here maybe going on with your finances that has caused you concern. So while this is typically it's a, a very positive card, which is like you're going to have prosperity, 
A, you're either going to have to go through some real uh, challenges and feeling stressed out and upset and beaten down, unable to sleep, feeling guilt, feeling the pressure. Uh, if you are, you know, you're going to just have to day by day incrementally try to deal with this. Could be money concerns with pentacles, money or work concerns. And then we have more sword energy with this seven of swords, which is someone shady, someone who is tri tricking or being less than forthcoming. Maybe trying to play you for a fool. Maybe someone who has ripped you off. It could be a host of things, but it's someone who's trying to make off with something. He's looking over his shoulder as if I don't want to be found out. So this week, you know, your mind is perhaps you're in a place where you're concerned and worried and maybe feeling tapped out. And this could be telling you to pay attention to people within your immediate circle. Or this could be an event that has happened that uh, someone has betrayed you, someone has lied to you or taken advantage of you. Again, with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords, you may feel that it's hopeless, but it is a sense that this is temporary and it takes time to work through these things. It may take a refresh and a reset and a new beginning. You know, the Ace of Pentacles could be concerns about money. It could also represent a new beginning for you once you work out all this business to get to prosperity and get to abundance. Certainly nothing is ever easy that's worth having. Let's get a little more information with possible outcomes. Okay, so possible outcomes. We have the Ace of Wands, another Ace, gift or blessing from the universe. And this, again, is reclaiming your personal power. That club is, is meant for you to go forth and create, to just do it, to find what's passionate for you, what is, uh, brings your, you know, a smile to your face, the things that you really love to do. Here's the Ace of Wands saying, go forth and create, come up with new ideas, uh, perhaps new ways to make money, new things to study, new opportunities to take. So from the debris of the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords, it may be that you have to hit the bottom here before something really great can come to you. And so the Ace of Wands is giving you the inspiration and this urging to say, go ahead and do it. Don't be afraid. And then the Page of Pentacles is saying, time to study, time to discover, time to take it all in and to observe. And again, it's the suit of Pentacles here, thinking about passions and money, resources. And he is studying that pentacle. He is, um, wants to learn everything about it. And this can suggest that you are doing something new and you're trying to gain information. You're trying to learn more, to be more knowledgeable. And this could be a part of, again, a new path for you that's going to get you away from this feeling of feeling trapped of feeling anxious, of working with some less than honest people or people that really don't have your best interest at heart. So let's get some more information from the Oracle cards and this is a um, focus area or meditation point for the week.
divine alchemy, move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. Beautiful, beautiful card. Because here, we certainly have challenges with the Ten of Swords. You've had them. They're probably at the most extreme that they're going to be. They've caused some worry. But now you're in a position where you're going to be able to use your personal power, focus on what you desire. Wands are about what you desire. You're going to be able to study and figure it out. That's what you're going to do, figure it out. And perhaps when, you know, when you're able to resolve this, get on your path, that the hope of um, prosperity is there. So very interesting. Now I'm going to choose a card for spiritual self or emotional self. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So again, when we see the nine of swords, we might think of the word anxiety, the stress, the insomnia. Finding your center is a call to you that despite whatever goes on in your life, you know, you have to return to you and you have to check in with how you're feeling, what you're thinking. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love and we'll see what messages we have for love. Transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. And I really like this idea of transformation because the transformation comes from looking at the light, of the Ten of Swords, of having hope and allowing the situ situation to end and to allow new beginnings that are going to help you in terms of abundance New beginnings in, in terms of finding what brings you passion and excitement into your life. You have the opportunity and the chance to transform. You may not feel like it, but you do have that. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.